Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight I am so excited. I'm going to do an unboxing of a bag that just arrived today. I'm so excited. I've been drooling over this bag for a couple months and I finally uh, bit the bullet and bought it. That would be the Carl Friedrich Palissy 25 Hour Bag. Carl Friedrich is a company in London and they have all their leather goods uh, handmade in Italy. Uh, they are made of Vancetta vegetable tanned leather. Um, so they started showing up in my Instagram feed a couple months ago and I would always go to their website, drool over their bags, but I really didn't think I could justify spending over $600 on a bag. But I got a bonus last week, so I ordered it last Friday. It was shipped Tuesday. It arrived today. Uh, so really quick turnaround. I'm thrilled. Um, so let's just uh, get right into it. I've already removed it from the box that it was shipped in. So it comes in this really nice black box with Carl Friedrich written across it in small letters really well quality, they up well quality, really nice quality. Uh, they obviously uh, take care in how they handle and ship their items. So here it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, it comes in just a cloth bag. This will be great for dirty laundry when I travel. So I will definitely hang on to this, but uh, we don't care about this bag, so let's get to the good stuff. Oh my gosh, I can already smell the leather. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <gasps> gosh, I am so excited. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. It smells so good. It's soft and smooth. Um, wow, well, let's take a look and, well, let's first look outside. So uh, this is the front. They have a really tiny uh, logo here, which I really love. I hate branding. I like it when products can stand on their own. And when someone asks, I love your bag, who made it and where did you get it? That means you have a good product, not having flashy um, branding on it. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, the front has a uh, zipper pocket here. Uh, it's tight and little. My hand only goes in that far, but that's okay. Um, you know, that would be a good place for maybe business cards I, or a wallet. I wouldn't put my phone in here. I don't want it to get scratched on the zipper, um, putting it in and out, but uh, that's fine. That's great. On the back side, it has another slip pocket, same size as the front, only this doesn't have um, a zipper on it. And you can also buy an attachment for this um, that slides in here and has a strap that goes like that. So you can put it down over your handle on your luggage if you wanted. I opted not to do that. Um, I got the navy and with an orange interior. So it's showing uh, orange here to match the interior. It comes in a dark brown chocolate, they call it, cognac, which is like a tannish color, black and navy. And you have the options for the inside to either be orange, gray, or uh, red, but they don't all come with all colors. For example, red wasn't an option with the navy, only orange and gray were. Orange wasn't an option for the cognac. Blue and orange are my favorite colors, so this was an easy choice for me. Uh, so I'm, I'm really thrilled. It's got the uh, feet on the bottom, which is great. That's gonna really protect uh, the bottom of the bag, which I love. Oh my God, this is just gorgeous. Um, from the sides, it's you know got a little bit of a unique design with the, the lips here. Uh, the zipper, I read about the zipper, super high quality. Like they polish each individual tooth on there. Um, so the zipper is supposed to last a really, really long time. On um, each side of the bag, there are uh, zippers, pulls that uh, go down this far. So that's nice. It should be uh, pretty easy to get in and out of here. Um, let me take out the stuffing and um, it also comes with the shoulder strap. You can tell this is really 
um, well-made uh, metal here and the strap is the same leather quality as the bag. We'll see if it's comfortable to hold on the shoulder. Um, I am going into the office this coming Monday, so I'm gonna take this bag, I'm gonna carry it like this on the way to work and with a shoulder strap on the way back for comparison and I'll have a review up uh, probably next Monday on this. Um, oh, you can see the shoulder strap attachments are on the sides here, which is great. Um, this one's on the back of the bag and this one's towards the front of the bag. So that'll be interesting wow, to see how that works out. Um, it's called the 25-hour bag, the Pop Palacy 25-hour bag, because the idea is this could be your one bag for a one-night overnight trip. Um, I don't know. It depends on what you pack in here. So uh, let's take a look inside. Um, on the back, it's got nice, I love this, a latch holding down the... Uh, laptop compartment, which is pretty good size. I'll have to see if it fits my 15 inch laptop, but I think it's going to. It's certainly going to fit my smaller work laptop and my iPad, so that's great. Oh, and it's actually got um, some padding here. This is, it has a little padding in it, which is nice because it's going to help protect um, the laptop further from other things inside the bag, but there really isn't padding on this side of the laptop sleeve. Um, there's also a place here, God, here for two pens, uh, which that's nice. I always like when they include that. Um, on the front, it has uh, three pouches here. Let's see. This is the biggest iPhone. Let's see how that fits. It sticks out. Um, I don't know that I really particularly care, though. Um, I'm not sure where I will put my phone in this bag. Um, yeah, it fits in all the pockets, but it sticks out. Uh, but there is a uh, zipper pouch here. Maybe that's uh, where I'll keep my phone and my wallet. Um, it's good size. My whole hand fits in it. Um, and then I should note, um, right here on this leather um, piece here, you can personalize it if you wanted to, of course, for an extra cost. Um, but yeah, looking at it, I think you could get your laptop in here, maybe a pair of shoes and fresh jeans, underwear, socks, and a new shirt to wear the next day. Um, so it probably could pass for a one-bag, 24-hour overnight trip or 25 hour overnight trip as they call it. Um, it retails for $635. They do offer 5% off for your first order. Um, so I absolutely took advantage of that. Um, I really wanted just the Palacy weekend, Weekender bag. Um, it's kind of like a duffel bag, but not really because it's so much cooler looking and it's smaller, but I didn't think I could work that bag into an everyday use bag. So I opted for the 25 hour. They also have other uh, briefcase type bags that are thinner than this, but I always like to take a lot of stuff. So this is great. It's gorgeous. The size is perfect. Um, wow. I am just blown over by the beauty of this bag. I hope it transfers over well on video, and I'm sorry I keep going on and on, but I'm just enamored and in love and so, so happy that I bit the bullet and bought this. I'll put a link down below where you can get it, and then I'll do a short review on Monday just how it uh, works in everyday life, but gorgeous. I love the orange and the blue. Oh my gosh. I need to tweet them right now. Bye.